The Airbus A380 and the Boeing 787 are both revolutionary aircraft. Up to now 331 A380s and 1365 787s have been ordered by various airlines. Now there's no doubt about it that the 787 has been more of a commercial success than the A380 as the A380 program has been under threat recently due to the lack of orders whilst the 787 program has a backlog of 687 aircraft with orders continuously flowing in. However, we need to ask the question, which aircraft had the greatest impact on the commercial aviation industry? Well, let's find out. So in this analysis video, we'll be talking about which of the two planes, the 787 or the A380, had the greatest impact on the commercial aviation industry. Now you can find out more about this at Avgeek and they also produce this video so be sure to check them out. So anyways, it's obvious that both the 787 and the A380 are both revolutionary aircraft. However, they're completely different. You see the 787 is an efficient long range jet which is targeted at point to point flying. Whereas the A380 is a double decker which suits airlines that shuttle passengers from their origin to their hub airport and onto their destinations. These airlines include Emirates, Singapore Airlines and British Airways. Firstly, let's look at the Airbus A380. The aircraft entered commercial service in 2007, which is just over 10 years ago, with Singapore Airlines being the launch customer. Now we can see up to 525 people in a free class configuration, but can hold up to 853 in an all economy configuration. As it is famous for countless A380s, it makes sense to talk about Emirates Airline. Now the airline has 103 A380s in service, with 59 more on order. Their whole business model relies on the A380 aircraft, and you can find out how and why they operate so many A380s in more detail in my other video. Now Emirates flies passengers from their origin to Dubai and onward to their final destination, either with the A380 or another wide-body aircraft like the 777-300ER. It's arguable that without aircraft as large as the A380, some routes would not be economically viable due to the cost of slots at major airports like London Heathrow, which receives multiple Emirates A380s per day. Now the 777-300s may not have been big enough to satisfy demand had the A380 not been created, resulting in a much smaller Emirates airline. Now this also applies to airlines like Singapore Airlines and Qantas who rely on large aircraft to operate high demand long haul routes. Now it's possible that had the A380 not existed, then Boeing would have created a competing 777 aircraft with capacity between the 777-200 and an A380. However, as far as technical innovation goes, the A380 resulted in few major developments. It had more composite materials and high bypass engines resulting in more efficient aircraft, but nothing game changing. Now let's look at the Boeing 787. The first 787 was delivered in 2011 to all Nippon Airways. Its different variants seat between 242 and 335 passengers in a free class seating configuration. So that's about half of the size of the A380. But there's one major advancement that the 787 has allowed the aviation industry to make, which is budget long haul travel. Budget airlines like Norwegian and Scoot both operate the Boeing 787 with ultra low fares on long haul routes. Now with previous aircraft, this would have been impossible. However, the 787 can operate routes that previously required a larger aircraft, which were not fuel efficient and would not fill seats. Airlines don't even need to fill every seat on a 787 to make a profit. Also, the 787 has enabled long haul, ultra low demand routes by legacy carriers, such as London to Albuquerque, operated by the British Airways 787. Now, without the 787, budget long haul travel on airlines like Norwegian would definitely not be possible, and many routes wouldn't be economically viable if operated by other aircraft like the 777 or the 757. Now the 787 also introduced far more technologies than the A380. The Dreamliner uses more composite materials than the A380, as well as a lower fuel economy per seat, which totals to about 20% less fuel burn than Airbus's equivalent aircraft. So it's your decision whether the A380 or the 787 Dreamliner had the greatest impact on the aviation industry. 
Be sure to share your thoughts in the comments below as I'm very interested to see what you guys think. Remember to find out more using the link below and I'll see you guys in the next video.